through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 268. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to do our DVD rundown for the 23rd of July. Yeah. It's July. flying right along yep. this year. It's almost over. It's Sadly, kind of a week, yeah. underwhelming week. Feels like it's definitely summer. Yeah, the doldrums, and yeah. we're not even in August. Come on, man. Yeah, Come know. on. <laughs> Maybe they're just trying to push everyone to the theater because yeah. there's so much stuff out they're right like, now. They're like, hey guys, look, there's nothing at home. Get the hell out and go see Pacific Rim again. Do it. Yeah, do it. It needs the money. It's good. Even though apparently 2 has already been announced. I don't know yes. how that's happening, but already then. Because Hollywood. Hollywood. Sequels, I'm, you know. More, because you know, Hollywood. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So, with that being said, let's mm -hmm. get this week started. Probably the most noteworthy release of this week is Trance. Yes. This is the latest Danny Boyle creation about an art dealer who gets involved in some uh, nefarious mm -hmm. dealings. Art heist of some yes. sort. And yes. then he loses his memory, yes. must go to a hypnotherapist to help him recover it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Needless to say, things go a little squirrely. Yes, they do, with uh, Rosario Dawson, James Vincent McAvoy. Castle. Yeah, Vincent Castle. Good cast. Mm -hmm. Um... DVD, not so hot, though. No. It's okay. I mean, you, A, no combo pack. You can get a Blu-ray or DVD. Okay. That's it. Um, and then special features, fairly modest. There's a making of trance feature, which is broken down, I believe, into four smaller parts. Okay. Total's about... 33 minutes, but you know, it's the making of, talking okay. to the cast, Danny Boyle, and the other makers of the film. Um, there is an interesting sort of Danny Boyle retrospective in which the director discusses his films and how they go and blend genres and stuff hmm. like that. That's kind of a cool thing. I, yeah. Danny Boyle is a very interesting guy. I actually yes. saw him uh, come to Seattle for 127 hours and see him very do a cool. Q&A for that, and he's a very, very interesting, very thoughtful guy. Um, there's also a few deleted scenes, but nothing really too... Uh, extensive and then there's also like a short film by Spencer Susser who directed Hesher I believe okay not sure why that is on here at all but maybe perhaps the same a, distri distribution maybe but perhaps somebody in the know could write in and yes. tell us because I was very <laughs> perplexed by that so <laughs> don't ask me yes it'd be interesting to see that little some of the vignettes by, by Danny Boyle because weirdly enough this movie was filmed during a break in Danny Boyle's two-year preparation schedule for the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2012 Summer Olympics. Oh, yeah, that's right. You, you did an amazing job with that. So, yeah, that's I right. mean, I understand, but two-year preparation to do opening and closing ceremonies? It was like, pretty freaking elaborate. But, yeah. You, yeah. you get one shot. This ain't no movie. You I, I mean, I guess that makes sense. And But, yeah, this film was even edited after the Olympics had wrapped because that was such a tight schedule. that it was, So, I'd be interested to see how much... You know, how much ramp up there was beforehand thinking mm. about this film, if it was a passion project, sure. if it kind of just was thrown together last minute. I don't know. That's I didn't see point. it in the theater, yeah. but. Oh, it's good. I saw it. Oh, good. It's, it's fairly decent. Oh. A little bit too, uh, too gotcha at the Ooh. end. But, you know, <laughs> Moving right along, this week we also have Graceland, which is coming out on Blu ray digital copy or DVD digital copy, no okay. full combo pack. For those who don't know, Graceland is the story of a. When a kidnapping goes wrong, a father does everything he can to get back his kidnapped daughter mm. um, from the manual. Is it a television show, right? No, it's a, movie? there is oh. a there is a television show called Graceland, but this is a movie. Okay. Yeah, different, different gotcha. things, same name. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, no, this is yeah, this is much much. Uh, I believe a foreign film. Oh, oh okay. I, believe, I forget Thailand or something like that. Hmm. Alan reviewed it on the website. If you want to check it out, I believe he gave it a B. Nice. Which is pretty solid. McGuff dot yeah. Yeah, McGuffin, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And in terms of like special features, this is probably one of the more loaded ones of the mm -hmm. week. So, you know, you have an audio commentary with the writer director, Ron Morales, and the producers and more. Mm -hmm. There's also a commentary with the sound mixer, mixer Nicola Chappelle, which I think is pretty cool because yeah. they never get any attention. Yeah. So that's interesting. And that's an important say. part of the film, but rarely acknowledged because yes. you only notice it if they screw up. Yep. Which is kind of an amazing thing which is kind of also a, it's a, tough job. a really sad thing to yeah. have your job. Totally job you only get attention when you fail yeah it's a tough <laughs> job tough job uh there's also a feature about the making of it some deleted scenes an alternate ending which i like the concept of but rarely do they end up being nearly as interesting yes. as i hope there's usually a reason that they were alternate not actual. or they're very like small changes it's yeah. like he's like hey instead of hi at yeah. the beginning of yeah. the scene or something yeah. it's like this is the alternate <laughs> version 
He high fives instead of shakes her hand. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then there's a 16 page booklet as well, which is pretty cool because not a lot of films throw on booklets yeah, except Criterion. True. So you know, that's yeah. always that's always a solid thing. Yep. Moving into the realm of disappointments, though, we have Kiss of the Damned. Mm. This is a film I yes. saw at South by Southwest that I dislike so much that I just didn't even bother reviewing it. Wow. I was just like, I don't even want You didn't even it. want to draw attention to it, even no. negative. Nope. That's distaste for yes. you, folks. It's uh, directed by, was it, Zan Cassavetes. Mm. It's uh, about a man who falls in love with a vampire, vampire yeah. whose sister comes into the mix and kind of tries to wreck their relationship, and they sort of have to deal with her. It's Milo Ventimiglia. Yeah, Mi Milo Ventimiglia. Yeah, Ventimiglia. Um, That's how you it's No, it's Michael Rappaport's in it, who's okay. actually probably one of the best parts, but he's only in it briefly. And then Sad. was it Josephine de la Blome and uh, Roxanne Mus Mosquita? Hmm. Um, what do you think of when you think of vampire things? What do you want in them? <sighs> Sexiness? Yeah. Um, Perhaps violence. Yeah, probably to some drama, extent. Drama, something like yeah. that. This is just so bland. And then the ending is the most mundane ending I've seen this year. Like, you're expecting this build-up. There's this build-up tension. And then it's just like, oh, yeah, this accident happens that kind of completely diffuses anything that you had built up to and makes Hooray. everything completely irrelevant. I'm glad that they took such a, um, you know, old classic name that harkens yes. to such old horror tropes and did nothing Yeah, and you think it would be, like, Connected to all that was it? Is it Anne Rice? Yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know, Queen of the Damned. I think yeah, was Queen the, of the Damned. Yeah. All that sort of stuff. No, no, it's completely unrelated. So, um, yeah, it was not. It was not good. I, I'm, I'm perhaps on the more negative side of it. People I've talked to have been like, yeah, it's okay. It kind of had some '70s style to it. Da, da, da. I just found it to be terrible. <laughs> it was not interesting. The actors are pretty terrible. Like the main actresses are not good. So, eh, you know. That Rent it, it. it. Yeah. Scarecrow video. Yeah, exactly. Get your vampire fetish in. Yeah, it's, it's, that's a good call. I would not buy it. Yeah. But, you know, it has a, a commentary with the directors and Cassavetes as an interview with Josephine de Leblom, as an interview with Roxanne Mosquita. Uh, there's an Access TV interview with Milo Ventimiglia, and there's hmm. another one with Roxanne Mos Mosquita. Should note the Access TV is sort of the same family as Magnolia. Which released this? I think it's I magnet see. releasing technically, but it's all the same family, so that's why that content gotcha. is on there. And then there's a couple trailers. So, mm. yeah. I mean, it's an okay special feature-wise, but in terms of the film itself, it's pretty yeah. blah. I can't imagine the special features being particularly interesting. I can't either. Yeah. Um, that brings us to the last film of this week, and as the Criterion release of the Ice Storm. Mm -hmm. I've spoken about many times. Yes, spoken about many times about you know family dynamics. Back in, I believe it's the seventies. Yeah, swingers. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Should note though, when I say this is the Criterion release, this is actually just a Blu-ray bump, ah, okay. which is which is. I mean, it's good. You know, you yeah. have to do that as things get you change technologies and whatnot. But there actually is no new content. Mm. It is That's just the same stuff. I mean, That's there's good bad. stuff. I mean, you've got an audio commentary with Ang Lee mm -hmm. and screenwriter, producer James Seamus. Um, there's an interview with novelist Rick Moody. There's some footage from an event honoring Lee and Seamus. Um, there's a documentary featuring the actors, which is like 37 minutes long. Wow. It has like Kevin Klein, I believe, all sorts of people like that. Very you know, cool. it's got a bunch of good stuff, but it's the same stuff as the previous yeah. release. If you own the previous release, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. If you don't own it, it's probably worth it then. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, yeah. it's worth it then, but, you know, it's really... It's a Blu-ray bump. Yeah. It's the bottom line, and I... Even at, even Criterion, it's still a Blu-ray bump. Yeah. I mean, so, we... kind of... We love Criterion, and we love, you know, their stuff, mm -hmm. but it's hard to get really excited about something that's really essentially the same I feel like Criterion thing. looked ahead and saw this week as a release, and they were like, ugh... Nothing we do is gonna save it. Just do, just put one of our bumps in that spot. Yeah. Just <laughs> and I mean, you think about the uh, the DVD version came out in two thousand eight. So n this is kind uh, of oldish yeah. content. Uh -huh. I mean, but five years. No, it's it's a very enjoyable film. Mm -hmm. Very interesting film. Early Ang Lee too. Early Ang Lee. Early like Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Christine like Katie Leach, Holmes. Also, yep. uh, film debut, I think. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of interesting people. But you know, it is what it is. Yeah. All right. 
that brings us to the end of our DVD rundown for this week. If you had any that you thought were worth noting, more power to you. Uh, but let us know in all seriousness. Yes. And uh, you can find us at MacGuffin. That's MacGuff.in. We're at Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast. Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast. Phone number. 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes. We're on Blip.tv, Miro, Roku. Check in and get glue. Get some stickers. Sticky badges. Leave some some stars on iTunes. Please Comments do. on YouTube and thumbs. We like Thumb us. Thumbs. Please up. Please up. Thumb us up. No, yeah. That just sounds, it sounds th- th- weird. There's no way yeah. it's going to sound. Just you know what we mean. Yeah, just, you know. Or comment. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time. Magneto can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. This type don't even try to buy the same style. Mr. Spock can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.